So, by recent news and recent trailers, it looks like that the DC Extended Universe as we know it today will be changing forever. And in this video, I'm just going to be talking about how it will be changing and how it's going to be a much more positive and exciting universe that we can all enjoy. So, when we were all thinking that the DC Extended Universe was kind of on its way out with the failures of Justice League, Suicide Squad, Batman vs Superman, Man of Steel, and the only film that a lot of people seemed to re uh, respond positively to was Wonder Woman. So we were all kind of thinking, well, they're probably going to scrap this universe now and move on to their standalone films like the, the Joker standalone film and all the other stuff they had planned that probably aren't going to happen because it's DC and that's what they do. But then something beautiful came along and it was called San Diego Comic Con 2018. That's right, that's where we all pretty much got the confirmation that this universe is changing. With the Shazam trailer, which blew us all away with the complete change in tone, the Aquaman trailer, which blew us away with its spectacular views, and and A Atlantis was amazing, and the different creatures are oh, really, really nice. And then the Wonder Woman 84 stuff, which we only got a few pictures for, and like behind the scenes set photos. Uh, but the people there, they saw some footage, and they all seemed to like it. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that this universe is heading in the right direction. And with Justice League 2, if it ever happens, I reckon that this that it will uh, it will go pretty well, to be honest. Uh since we have characters who will have evolved since the first one, meaning a Superman that knows not to break necks, a Batman that has slight more slightly more hope in this universe. A Wonder Woman, which is perhaps a little bit more bright and has a slightly more, well, bright, com uh, comic accurate outfit. Uh, an Aquaman that isn't an alcoholic. And a cyborg that isn't completely depressed. Uh, and a Flash that isn't, well, high, <laughs> I think is the best way to describe it. And perhaps a Flash that knows how to run. Um... And then we got new additions to uh, to the roster, such as Shazam, and whoever they decide to bring out. I'm just so excited to see the future of this universe, and what they'll be bringing to it. I just hope that they don't go weird with it again, and start announcing random crap and that none of us want, and it's just... Well, Suicide Squad, I guess, is the, <laughs> the biggest... The biggest one that I'm really on about right now, Suicide Squad, no one no one wanted that, and we all know how it turned out. Um, but we are getting Birds of Prey, so that should be exciting. Uh, you know, an all-female all team. Uh, and then we're also getting the Joker standalone movie, which, as I said, is standalone. It's, it's not connected, but I'm, I have faith for that movie because I think that Joaquin Phoenix won't let them do a bad job with this movie. And then there's also the Nightwing movie, and then there's the Matt Reeves Batman movie, which we've heard pretty much nothing about, but I hope it's set within the confines of the DCEU, with Ben Affleck's Batman telling a story of his past crime-fighting adventures as the Cape Crusader to perhaps the rest of the Leaguers, or another Robin perhaps Tim Drake. And then there's all these other things like Green Lantern that Jeff Johns wants to do, which by the way, in recent news, uh, Tom Cruise is is the front runner, which a lot of people have wanted. For a very long time for him to be Green Lantern, I was just never, uh, never keen on him being Green Lantern. Uh, so I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I don't doubt that he will do a fantastic job if he does get the role. And all up, I'm just really excited for Justice League 2, if it ever happens. 
and I hope that you guys are too. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and of course, we don't know if Chester's League 2 is happening or not, but as I said, there is one thing that we do know, and that is that the DC Extended Universe is changing, for the better. So, how do you feel about this? Also, how do you feel about the whole Tom Cruise possibly being Green Lantern thing? I'd love to hear your views down in the comments, so make sure to leave one down below, and if you have any questions, I will make sure to reply.